Okay, you probably have heard the term AI agent before. So AI agent has been quite a hype recently because there are a lot of companies seems to be promising the AI agent technology that will come in the next few months or so. And I think it's already here. So AI agent is fantastic because it is very different than traditional AI. AI agent can do something that traditional AI couldn't. For example, it can visit a website, it can click on the button, it can you know scroll the page, it can see the whole content in almost the same way as when human is visiting a website. So with this interaction, it can do certain tasks on your behalf. And there are a lot of companies are promising AI agents like OpenAI recently announcing Operator, and then there's also a Chinese company uh, that releases, I think it was called Manus, but those are very expensive and kind of difficult to implement and most of the time they're only useful for enterprise or big companies. But there is this tool from a company called Convergent.ai that allows you to control or use AI agent with just prompting. The name of the tool is Proxy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use proxy and then you, I'm, I'm going to show you how you can control it to do tasks on your behalf and hopefully by the end of this video you can we will understand how to use this tool and maybe you can start thinking about some everyday use cases or work that you could delegate to AI agent like proxy now what you need to do now is you have to open convergent to AI I'm going to leave the link in the video description and after that click meet proxy uh, you have to log in with your email or Google account. And once you log in, you will see this interface that is actually quite similar to OpenAI ChatGPT. There is this menu on the left, which is usually served for some navigation menus and also the chat history. And in the middle is where you can type your prompt to AI agent. I'm going to show you the prompt later. But at the bottom here, this is a collection of templates or prompts that other proxy users have shared so you can use it. This is very useful if you want to get the job done and you don't want to think too much about prompting. I'm going to touch about this topic later, but for now, let me show you how you can use the basic feature in proxy. And by the way, I'm using the pro subscription, which cost me $20 a month, but I, what I'm going to show you in this video is only features that are available on free users. So I'm not going to do anything too complicated here i'm just showing you the basic thing that you can do with proxy now i will send a prompt that i prepared before so this is the prompt that i'm going to use to test this proxy agent basically i just want the agent to search for a picture of a golden retriever dog and then i want the picture to be free so i don't have to worry about license and then i want ai agent to download the picture now, once you're done with the prompting, you can send the message and just wait until Proxy is giving you the overview about the step-by-step -step that it is going to do. Uh, this is the area where you can see all the things that AI is trying to do, and you can see the description. And on the right side, on the Proxy's view menu, this is where you can see the snapshot or yeah, basically what AI agent is seeing. So it is literally running a browser that you know, it's very, very similar to human and it will do tasks. It will interact with the web page in the same way as human did. Now, it is searching for a picture of Golden Retriever on this website. I believe this is unsplash.com, which is a picture, sorry, which is a website for searching for a high quality and free picture. Now, I don't know which picture that it's going to use, but apparently it is choosing this uh, picture and it's kind of worrying here because it is a picture that is only available for free sorry for pro subscribers on unsplash so i hope it is understand about the problem and it will try a different picture well actually it will try to do that it says i will close the current image view and return to the previous search results for alternative images that's pretty good so i believe that this picture with this plus sign means, means it's for the pro subscribers but this picture i believe is free so that's a good sign i didn't say anything about what would happen if there is any error or it, if it encounter a problem AI agent will understand about the problem and will try to resolve it without your uh, with your help now 
uh, it's it say that the image has been downloaded and this is the picture so i can download this to my computer and then i can uh, use it somewhere else now the task of searching a picture now finished this is different you cannot do something like this with you know perplexity or chat gpt i mean maybe you can do that but it is not going to uh it's it's going to search text but it cannot see images it cannot see website structure it won't be able to navigate if there is a picture there is for pro subscribers or something but proxy will understand that because again it sees the exact same thing that you see when you are visiting a website so that's pretty amazing and by the way after uh, after you have done the task you will receive an email and then you will also see that there is a message telling you that the task is completed and you can set it to be automated you can automate the task this is optional of course you don't have to do this but if you want uh, you can set the task to be auto to be automated you can name it you can set it to run at a specific time of the day or maybe you can uh, make it running every day but i'm not going to do this at the moment so i'm going to move on to the second thing that you can do with a proxy this is just another example and i want proxy to basically control my website which is quite interesting and this requires uh, some other things to do now uh, in order to be able to gain access to, to a website of course it has to know your username and password if you're using the free version when you send this kind of message it is going to ask you the username and password of the account it is necessary after all it is going to act in your behalf so it needs to know access to your account uh, there's no other way so uh, if you want to make the process more automatic you can actually utilize something called credentials but this feature is only for pro subscribers but again you can still log in to an account even if you're not subscribing to the pro subscription now i'm going to be using this prompt so log into my website and then go to post and then click the article that is titled how to use ai agent on proxy and then i want it to remove the post and then after that the task is complete I love using this type of prompt because there is step-by-step -step process that is very clear. You don't have to use this format. You can also just write a simple paragraph, but I prefer this format because if you have multiple steps, it makes sense to make it listed in a numbered manner. Now, when you're done, just send the message again, and you will see that it should be able to log into my website based on the username and password that I provided. And then it will do the remaining of the task okay so it has finished the task which is pretty amazing and i'm going to show you the overview about all the steps that AI agent has finished so the first thing is it is trying to log into my website of course and then it is navigating to the post menu right here and then it tries to find an article titled how to use AI agent on proxy so it has to click on this link and after that it needs to click this button that says move to trust and it was able to do so and then there is this message which is something that i did not prepare ai to do but it was smart enough to understand that there is the confirmation message and therefore it can have a complete the task without any problem and in just you know six steps all the steps are finished so that's really amazing and you can definitely use this to control your social media account your website or maybe some other work that used to be manual but with ai agent it can do the work much more efficiently maybe it's not going to be faster but if you can make it running in the background while you are doing something more important i think this would be really amazing now i want to talk about the template which is something that i have briefly introduced earlier so the template can be found down here on the main menu or you can also go to template hub this is free by the way you don't have to pay for the premium uh, subscription but do notice that there are some templates that has this deep work label so deep work is a feature that is only available for the pro subscribers so if you see the template with that label then you cannot use it if you are using the free account but you don't have to worry about that because there are still plenty of amazing templates that you can use for free now 
uh, I want to try one template. Let's say, okay, let's try this template. Research a person. I never tried this, but I'm curious. So this is the prompt that it is going to use. And then we just need to change the value. This is the value that we need to change. And we just to change the, we can enter the value right here. Okay, let's try finding the person like Sam Altman, which is the CEO of an of OpenAI. And after that, click run task and just wait until proxy is starting its session again. Okay, I don't want to oh, make you waiting, so I'm going to just skip forward when it is finished. Okay, so it has finished the task. And you see that it visited Google, Wikipedia, and uh, there is also this biography website that AI agent just visited and, you know, get information from. And this is the summary that it gathered. So you can see that there's info about uh, when was the date he was born and also the education, the location, the company he created, etc. So all of these are based on the research that proxy has done by visiting these websites now of course in my opinion this is definitely not the most efficient use case of proxy because there is barely an interaction and if you just want to get info uh let's say text-based info then just use something like perplexity it is much more efficient it is faster and i would say it's more accurate because you can read a lot of more websites in seconds compared to you know just two websites that proxy visited so of course this is not the best example for for proxy but you know of course you can just create a prompt and make sure that it requires interaction if the task doesn't require interaction then just use a regular ai so i guess that's basically it that's the basic features that you can utilize in proxy and of course there are so many other features that i did not touch in this video because otherwise this video is going to be extremely longer but i will certainly make more videos about proxy in the future because there are so many things that you can do and so many use cases tips and tricks and the company is still growing they kept adding more and more features in the future so be sure to subscribe to see more videos about proxy but anyway if you want this video to be useful then please consider subscribing to this channel and in any case i wish you a great day ahead